Yes. Okay, so I am going to now introduce my wonderful partners, and the first two numbers are quartet, and then there's going to be some numbers that are just the dual pianos, and then at the end, the Rogers and Hammerstein, and I'll talk a little bit in between. So here is Jan Armstrong, my, and here is Lynn Barber, and here is Paul Rock.
one of the things, my notes on two pianos, and there's some very uh, interesting things about two pianos. This we call piano one, and this we call piano two, and there's primo. So I was on primo because it was my birthday. <laughs> and now that I've done that, and uh, secundo, and then piano two, primo, and secundo. Now, there's a, most two piano music starts where one person starts, which helps everybody else get on board. So you notice on that one, Jan started on the first beat, I come in on the and, and then they start coming in, which is easier, and I think all of the other music is like that, except for Over the Rainbow. So you're probably asking, what's the signal? We have eight hands beginning at the same moment. How do they do that? So I'll let you in on the secret. So Jan and Paul are going to be looking at each other. I look at Jan's hands. Lynn looks at Paul's hands. And if things work as they did in rehearsal, <laughs> we actually will start at the same time.
So now Jan is going to come back, and we're going to play two numbers. The first one is Jambalaya, and then the second is Jazz Theme and Variations. Sarah introduced us to these two numbers, and we're planning on doing the Jazz Theme and Variations at the Broadmoor for that international two-piano competition in January, and maybe in Pueblo, there's another competition in Pueblo in November. So we haven't really done jazz before, and we are so enjoying it. This jambalaya is so much fun, and the jazz theme and variations have so many different moods and tempo changes and feelings. I One of the things I learned from Karen Wallman, my teacher, is that when she did this concert, her music had so many markings on it. And so I have started doing all sorts of markings about the moods and fingerings. I mean, my music has so many markings on it. But one of the markings in um, jazz theme and variations that you can listen for is, is a marking that Abe gave me, lush and seductive. <laughs> so you, you can listen for where that moment happens. <laughs>
why we have the Beethoven German potato salad, is <laughs> to go with a little bit of Beethoven. So this is the first movement of the Sonata in D by Ludwig. to give you permission, and so I had to track it down. It took a, maybe a month or two to figure out who do you get permission from. 
So I went to the person who had arranged the duets I was playing, which was the Hal Leonard Company, and they said, yes, you can get permission from us. What do you want to do? And so I said, well, oh, what a beautiful morning. If I loved you, you'll never walk alone and climb every mountain. Now you're probably saying to yourself, I wonder how much that cost, right? You're all saying that. So it's $20 for each song. So every time we change songs, you say there's songs, so Linda paid $80 for this to play these four songs. But then I had to get an arranger. So I started thinking, how did you get an arranger who wants to do these kind of musicals, who's really good, who understands where, sort of what we want? So it took a while to, I, I ended up with talking to someone in Singapore, I talked to someone in Wales, and I was going around, they'd say, well, you know, we might be able to do it, but we, um, we're not that interested, but maybe we do that. But finally, what happened was Sarah said, what about Grace Hale? Grace Hale is a recent graduate color at a college. She's a composer. I had heard some of her music. And when I wrote her, she lives in Chicago. She's ready to go to graduate school in, in Michigan. And she said, I'd love to do this. So what's wonderful when you get your own arranger is you say, well, here's the level we want it to be. And she kind of works the music. She worked it off the Hal Leonard. She added some things. And there was one part where there were two measures that they were hard for my wrist. And she says, I'll fix them. So it's, it's great to have your arranger. You say, well, can you change these two measures? So this is a world premiere. I just want you to know it's a world premiere because this is the first time this has been put into uh, two pianos, eight hands. The, the, it didn't exist before I came up with the idea.
So I have gifts for my partners. The um, I'll just tell you ahead of time. They're they're mugs with pianos on them, <laughs> but they are slightly different. Now Abe has two pianos in his home. He has a Steinway and he has a Bechstein. He doesn't have a Bosendorfer, so now he's going to have a Bosendorfer on his mug. <laughs> and Sarah and Jan and I have the same kind of mugs. They have um, grand pianos on them. And Lynn and Paul have also mugs. They're slightly different because they were on a different piano. That one's for Paul. This is for Lynn. No. <laughs> so, okay, that's for Jan. So there's probably only two left of them. Yes, one is for Mr. A. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 